Hi everyone, welcome back to Mindful Monday. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about today um, what has been going on with your emotions and how you're managing through this COVID-19 crisis. I know for me it's been a challenge and I'm sure I'm not alone. So one of the biggest things that I want to address today is this concept of, of stress and how you're supposed to be managing your stress and your anxiety and your feelings of uncertainty and overwhelm. And I think the biggest message that I want to put out there today is to please be gentle with yourselves and to really acknowledge the fact that it makes sense that we're feeling afraid and that it doesn't have to control our lives either. That, they're, that we do have the ability of letting go of these emotions in a way that's healthy, in a way where we're still addressing how we're feeling and to be able to cope and move forward with our life. So I know that this has been challenging for me because it seems to kind of take hold when I least expect it and when I'm being the least mindful. So what do I mean by this? So for example, I was unbagging groceries and trying to kind of clean or wipe things down to you know, make sure nothing's coming into the house. And I was just paralyzed by this overwhelming fear that I felt like I didn't even know where it was coming from. I didn't, I wasn't having worry thoughts necessarily. I was just kind of focusing on doing the task at hand. And then this wave of emotion kind of hit me and I started crying. So that is a really good example of how our sympathetic nervous system, the one that's in charge of um, really warning us of a threat or you know how we're supposed to respond to a threat, which is like our fight, freeze, or flight response. So this may be happening to you. It may be situations where you know, if it kind of comes out of the blue or you're experiencing this kind of consistently throughout the day and it can be really unnerving, to be honest. So what do we do about this? I think the biggest thing that we've talked about and, you know, as I've brought up here in our Mindful Monday videos or posts is that we have to acknowledge what's going on and really recognize like, oh, so this is the experience and it doesn't have to be like, I am afraid and I have to hold on to it and now I don't know what to do and um, kind of spiraling with the fear. So what I did, for example, was allowing myself to kind of feel what was happening. I even allowed myself to cry. And then by doing that and labeling the words fear, I kind of stepped away or distanced myself a bit from the emotion so that I could look at it clearly and see what was going on. And that in itself, by labeling, it reduces the intensity of the emotion, right? And it allows me to be able to feel like I'm still in control of my mind and myself, and it's okay for me to be feeling this way. It makes sense that I'm feeling this way. Um, and giving myself the time that I needed to kind of move forward throughout my day without it completely derailing me. So when you're feeling a sense of unease or uncertainty, it makes sense for you to stop and acknowledge. Please do not ignore these signs. They're there for a reason. And if we need to kind of shift or do something different, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to these feelings. Um, it's okay. I've posted a little bit about it's okay to be experiencing moments of joy or happiness right now and for you not to feel guilty when this is going on. It's a way for us to be also paying attention to emotions that make us feel good um, and that it doesn't have to be all one-sided. It's okay for you to feel moments of calm and it may be challenging for you to make that the goal right now to constantly be calm it's something for us to kind of strive for and really challenging when you're having to juggle work, homeschooling, um, grocery shopping and planning around that, um, being able to, you know, maybe being afraid of what's happening with your finances. So please just take a moment to acknowledge just what is going on for you, that it is the one thing that is in your control and that this is a really challenging period. 
You don't have to be swept away with it though. So I hope this helps and I just wanna tell you that I see you and you're working so hard and you're doing the best that you can right now. So if you need anything, please don't ever hesitate to reach out. Feel free to comment below um, or send me a DM. All right, bye guys, stay strong.